Can you tell me what even is a medical librarian? Medical librarians are invaluable to our system, and I actually see them as a clinical resource for all of our clinicians, whether it's pharmacy, medical, or nursing. So they give us the latest information, the most up-to-date evidence-based practice information that we can actually apply immediately um, with our patients to help improve patient care outcomes. Mm -hmm. How does the clinical staff use the medical librarian specifically? That's a great question. So we have a huge graduate medical education program here at Northeast Georgia, and the medical librarians help in orientation. They guide our physicians through our databases. We have a huge database resources for physicians, whether it's uh, up to date, clinical key for nursing and physicians. Mm -hmm. So it actually guides them through the resources that we have that they can apply for patients. Do you think that um, our residents use our librarian enough? Well, they could utilize them more, but they do utilize them a lot because I actually take data from how many times they do a literature search, how many times they request an article, and we also look at data on how they look at our databases and how many people access our databases. Can you walk me through what resources patients can use at the library that's not Google. We have a lot of health misinformation. Yes. So if people are utilizing uh, not peer review information, that's problematic. Uh, so when we look at health literacy, uh, we also think about how patients understand the information that physicians or nurses are giving. Uh, to them. So please do not Google. We don't want anyone Googling health information, but this is where you can utilize your medical librarians to really help talk about the information that's out there right. that can help um, with our patient care. Right. And she's here during the day. The patients can walk in and ask her, hey, I just got diagnosed with this. Can you help me find information? Because a lot of patients, I think, are probably um, scared to talk to their doctor about it. Maybe they think uh, I should I should know this, right? Maybe it's common knowledge, but it's not. And the medical librarian can you know, walk right in. Here's some resources to check out. We got print dictionaries in the back that you can use for mm -hmm. uh, medical jargon. Um, it's just a, a great resource to have. And I think what else uh, for our patients especially and what our medical librarians have done a great job at is going into the community with our physicians into their own space where they can ask questions related to men's health or women's health. And then our medical librarians can go through what uh, databases that they can look at opposed to looking at Google. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a great partnership between library services and the community and our physicians within our graduate medical education program. Program. We have a book club coming up, um, a book called How to Be a Patient. Yes. Basically, cheat sheet, how to be a good patient, uh, what questions to ask. So how can um, your medical librarian help with health literacy? I'm super excited that we're first doing the book club. The book uh, this so will be good. several book clubs that we have done, uh, which has had a community focus. If you've never been in a patient in a hospital before, you have to navigate a lot of conversation. You have to navigate a lot of medical um, information that's being uh, given to you all at the same time. And I think if we have the community involved in this book club as well, they'll know what type of questions to ask and how to navigate uh, through our system. Right. It's hard to navigate to what medical jargon is. So a medical librarian uh, in partnership with patient experience or our physicians can really look at how we can um, break the information down that's understandable um, for patients so they can actually utilize um, our services here that we have for the system. And I like also the idea that maybe residents uh, could enjoy the book as helping their patients be more health literate. Yes. I think that's also a big thing that we don't really think about is how to get our patients to know what we're talking about or feel comfortable asking questions. And I haven't read the book, so I am super excited to see. It's what on this audio book version. So if that's audio more version. Of your, okay. If that's more your speed, there is an audio version. It was written by a nurse. She's real like down to earth and real and she gives some really cool information that's not it's not boring to read. It's it's you know it really resonates when mm -hmm. you read it so what are your thoughts on how the librarian can save you time i think what saves me time is that we have happy customers 
So if our clinicians are happy, they have what they need to take care of patients, to me, it's all about our patient care outcomes. And that is what will make my job easier, our whole system's job easier. If we can uh, really just focus in on what is our overall mission for the hospital, this is improving the health of our community. And um, with health literacy, um, with all of that, that will help with a better patient care outcomes. So that's how they really wow. help the job. They really make a big yes. impact. And back to our databases, our clinicians can also receive CME credit. They can receive MOC credit um, for physicians' uh, license and for their certification board uh, certifications. And also for nursing, they can receive CE credits for it. So our databases also helps with licensure for our disciplines in this health system. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other uh, fun memory that you've had where you've, you've used something that the librarian has taught you? Yes, the biggest thing that I utilize a lot is when I go into our databases and I say, I need help in regards of doing a literature search. That's actually, it's a very time consuming uh, to go through it. So it's one thing to ask for an article, but to have a librarian go through the, all of the massive databases and do a literature uh, search for me, mm -hmm. that's very helpful. And it allows me to do other things while I'm getting back this list that they have navigated through all of the databases for. So if I'm doing a presentation on diabetes or hypertension, they're looking through the literature on the best practices and I can actually put together um, a presentation. Oh, wow. So that is the biggest utilization that I utilize our library services for. be a big for. time saver. Yes. I've seen her do that, just saddle up with her laptop and And, and she's them. off, yep, the both of them, in their virtual world K as well. Z, yep. <laughs> Thank you so much once again, uh, Dr. Walker. Really appreciate it. It's my pleasure.